Aaron Imholt. Aaron's so Aaron Imholt is the guy that is opposed to Nick Ricada. And I when I first started talking about him, I had to clarify that he is a kind of minor celebrity in that area of Minnesota. And he already had like this major contingency of A logs. So like his Steel Toe morning show antics were already being like snark reddited and stuff before he, he kind of merged with the Ricada sphere to cause like a local supercell. Um, now he is on conditional release from jail cause he's, uh, being charged with a felony in regards to, uh, revenge pornography of Kayla Ricada. And so his conditional release, uh, means uh, even with unconditional release, you generally promise that you will remain law abiding. So any violation of the law can be considered a violation of your bond and have your bond revoked so that you go back to jail. So here is one of the gay logs from his uh, Steel Toe Morning Show hate fandom saying, Aaron scoffed at the idea of Rumble reaching out to Sherborne County DA to report him for violating the TOS. Here I was wanting to know where to go to report him for violating copyright law and his probation. I never even cared about Rumble TOS. Thanks, Aaron. So this guy is going to try and report copyright infringement on behalf of a third party to his parole officer and the DA to try and get his bond revoked. Now, in my life, dealing with the sector, I have seen desperate, pathetic, craven, absolute piles of fucking dog shit desperately sucking the cock of the government to try and inconvenience people that they don't like for whatever asinine, petty, stupid fucking reason. This is one of the most pathetic and desperate I've ever seen, ever. And this guy should probably be hammered to a railroad track by railroad spikes and ran over by a train. Um, I don't know what else would be a, suiting, a suitable punishment for someone this fucking bootlicking and disgusting. This guy definitely dresses up. He's like a 50-year-old man who dresses up in drag and jerks off to, like, 4chan cuckold pornography. Um, absolutely revolting. Genuinely stirs hatred and contempt from my bowels. Um, and by the way, this guy is a fan of someone called Patrick Melton. Um, of his next illegal movie stream. So he streams, he talks about movies and streams movies. Oh, oh my gosh. This guy I don't like is streaming movies to the internet. He doesn't even have a license. He doesn't even have permission from the copyright holder. Oh my God. Just beat the fuck out of these people. That's what, that would cure them. I'm just saying, I'm not advocating for violence, but I'm just saying if you took these people and beat the fuck out of them, their their priorities would readjust in a positive and constructive way. Just like take a stick and just beat the fuck out of them, and then suddenly all this copyright shit that he's so concerned about will become like whoosh, way at the bottom of things that he's he's concerned about at that moment. It just instantly fix. It would instantly cure him of the mental condition that he. And that's what I'm advocating for here is mental health. Mental health. Right now, he's in a bad headspace, and he cares a lot about stuff that really doesn't affect him. And I think that through therapeutic application of a blunt instrument to his body and head would immediately cure him of this anxiety because it would restructure his priorities and headspace into a more positive and affirming area, giving him insight and value into the things that really matter. I'm just advocating for mental health with a blunt object who is fucking asshole. Anyways, Patrick Milton is what he's a fan of called Nobody Likes Onions. I have no fucking idea what any of this is, but there's apparently a video here. So the copyright bro that cares so much about this um, is a big fan of this guy, and apparently I should play this clip. Let's take a listen. I've not listened to this yet. This is a live reaction chat. And and he always seemed like a good dad to me. I, I was in total shock when I heard about this. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't fuck his kids. And <laughs> but denial, I'm not going to lie. I, I felt like there's no way the guy that I knew. Can never... we, first of all... Who is this? Is this not a problem, Jennifer? Genera- Who are you? Oh, okay. So this guy is watching this review. This is Onion Man. 
and he's doing a live reaction to this video. I'm assuming that this guy was arrested, or his father was arrested for possession of child pornography. He's doing a live reaction. If AI could solve all. Is this not a problem generative, generative AI could solve? You know, the thumbnail of this show is an onion in a kilt vomiting in Scotland. And that was probably made in seconds, and it looks realistic enough. Now, this is not going to be a popular opinion, but couldn't we generate realistic child porn mm. that would satisfy... Okay, two, two unpopular opinions about the child porn thing. Mm, Number okay. one, I think we'd all agree... Spit it out, coward. I think we'd all agree that collecting images... First of all, who's saving porn to a hard drive, okay? I don't even get it. And then I said this last night in the Discord, but 6,000 images. If 10 images of nude kids can't make you come, I don't know why you do, you're going to need 6,000 of them. Oh, man. Dick, Juju, uh, somebody ring the cowbell, ring the cowbell, Juju, I got your next co-host, buddy, I got your next co-host, this guy's a fucking stand-up comedian, he's your next guy, he's your top guy, Juju, get this fucker on the dick show right away, he'll mesh right in with your people. I mean, come on, but the point is, we can all agree that looking at pictures of naked children... Is better than fucking kids. Okay? Now look, not a comfortable topic. I get it. But can we all agree on that? Looking at a picture of a naked child. Now look, the problem is, you know, the way that these pictures are obtained and produced is abuse to children. But let's not get into that. But, yeah. but the distribution and utilization for sexual purposes of these images is not a continuation of that? Is that, is that like a... No, is that missing your... Okay. But, we can all but, agree that... We can all agree. a kid is way worse than looking at a new picture of a child. So, with that being said, this generative AI... And I think it is illegal to, like, make images of child porn. I'm pretty sure that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. This dude could be a lawyer. Damn. That's... <laughs> That's a fucking profound thought. But. But. Oh my god. In a lot of ways, isn't it a solution? Um, Make sure to sli slam that like, that like button. <laughs> to not having victims of child porn. Patrick says ignore the abuse. No, but no, I'm making two separate points. That number one, like child porn is not as a severe a crime as child abuse, especially sexual assault of a child, but, or rape or whatever you want to call it. But I'm just saying, spit it out. No kids are being hurt. And it keeps these child fuckers at bay. <laughs> Maybe we allow them to just go in a room and just keep generating as much child porn as they want. Look at people in the chat. They're so uncomfortable. Stop! Yeah, no shit. Is it fans trying to save them? How about this? Okay, if we're already at the point that we can put all these evil pedophiles into the generative AI machine learning room, why don't we just kill them? <laughs> if, if, if our solution is just to lock them in the goon chamber, why don't we just shoot them in the fucking head? Why, can, why does nobody want to agree with me on these things? Like, we need a more efficient death penalty. Stop. Imagine being that fucking gay. Imagine being such a pussy. Where you're like, imagine, you can't. Imagine being such a gay. Imagine being such a fucking pussy. Oh my God. Don't even talk about it. I'm so uncomfortable. Dude. And then there's people in the chat room who are going like, no, no, that won't fix it. I'm not a politician. This is a joke. You fucking idiots. You fucking idiots. I remember there's a... The, the statistic I like to quote is that 
half of all child abuse is there's like a there's like an extra like ten percent tops is female on male or female on female child abuse, and then for the remaining like ninety percent, half of that is male on boy, and then the other half of that is male on girl, which means that if our population, depending on how many people in our population are gay, then. And I've seen estimates of between 1% and 10%. So just based off that, you can be assured that gay men are some... Because the gay men are, are probably half, only half of the population. I think I calculate real quick. I'll just say... It's like 0.5... So a gay man is between 20 and 200 times, just roughly in my head, 20 and 200 times more likely to be a pedophile than a straight man. And <clears throat> like twice that, like not even like 10 times that a gay man is, is 200 to 2000 times more likely to be a pedophile than a straight woman. I think that's the actual numbers. It's like a profoundly preposterous uh, increase in, in pedophilia. You guys are over there like, wow, Melton thinks he ought to be over there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make policy, you fucking idiots. Imagine arguing with me in my chat. You fucking idiots. You're being gross. I'm not being gross. You can't handle talking about things in a true way. You can't handle it. That's you. You're uncomfortable. Something inside you is... If your stomach is churning about this, you're immature in a, in a way. Because, you know, get the fuck over it. Uh, 199, aloha, how are you? Thank you, Kraut Cat. Very hot now. Have no, but, but the point is, what's the... Cr I guess what I'm asking is, what are we punishing people for? And I don't mean like, I mean, I, I understand like literally what we're punishing people for, but like if the crime is, if, if the reason this is a crime and I believe. So let me get to the bottom of this. When you generate child pornography, you're definitely not condensing yourself to find the immature body of a child to be sexually arousing. That's not, that's not the bad thing that we're, that we're, that we're prosecuting or trying to prevent here, that the exposure to child pornography, even if there's no physical, literal victim, is bad for the human mind and therefore can increase the likelihood of child abuse down the Look, that, that's like a victim of crime. But copyright infringement. There are people out there that slave their life away for their creative works. And people like Aaron M. Holt steal their creative works and play them on their podcast without permission. Effectively, a form of mental rape. Chat. We have to, we have to lock those motherfuckers up. We have to put that motherfucker back in jail before he really hurts somebody. Come on now. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if this guy hasn't hooked up with Juju, Juju, you gotta, you gotta fucking ring this motherfucker up. He's your, bo he's your bro boy. He's your he's your homie. You got mutual enemies. He don't like Aaron M. Hall. Just come on, get him. Um. Are as cup holders. And uh, she's singing, like, dude, she's right. Your daughter's got a cup holder, too. <laughs> I hate to tell you. Turn her upside down. Oh boy, dude, Juju, this guy, he, dude, I'm telling you, he'll fit right in, bro. I'm telling you, he'll fit right in. He doesn't like Aaron either. He's your, he's your new buddy. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.